Today, we're going to talk about lidocaine HCL jelly. This medication is used to prevent and relieve pain during certain medical procedures, such as inserting a tube into the urinary tract. It can also be used to numb the lining of the mouth, throat, or nose before certain medical procedures, like intubation. Additionally, lidocaine jelly is used to relieve pain caused by swelling of the urinary tract, known as urethritis. It works by numbing certain moist areas of the body. Lidocaine belongs to a class of drugs known as local anesthetics. Before using lidocaine, it's important to read the patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. If you have any questions, make sure to ask your doctor or pharmacist for clarification. Lidocaine is typically applied by a healthcare professional to the area being treated or to the medical equipment used during a medical procedure. It is usually applied just before the procedure. If you are using this medication at home, make sure to learn all preparation and usage instructions from your healthcare professional and the product package. Follow your doctor's instructions carefully, and be sure to clean the affected area before use. Also, avoid getting this medication in your eyes, and remember to wash your hands after use. It's important to throw away any unused jelly after the first use. The dosage of lidocaine is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. For children, the dosage is also based on their age and weight. Remember not to use more than four doses in a 24-hour period, and avoid increasing your dose or using this drug more often or for longer than prescribed, as doing so can increase your risk of serious side effects. If lidocaine is used in the mouth or throat, it may cause numbness and make swallowing difficult, increasing the risk of swallowing the wrong way or choking. It's important not to chew gum or eat for one hour after using this product while your mouth or throat is numb. This is especially important for children after their procedures. Be cautious not to accidentally bite your tongue or mouth. Lidocaine typically starts to numb the affected area within 5 minutes after application. If you are using this product before certain procedures, make sure to inform your doctor if the area does not feel numb or if the numbness does not go away. If you are using this product to relieve pain or discomfort, be sure to tell your doctor if your condition lasts or gets worse. If you experience mild nausea, stinging, swelling, or burning, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know. This medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor believes that its benefits outweigh the potential side effects. However, it's important to be aware of the possibility of serious side effects if you use too much of the medication or are highly sensitive to its effects. Seek medical help immediately if you experience dizziness, drowsiness, slow or shallow breathing, mental or mood changes, shaking, seizures, vision changes, ringing in the ears, fainting, pale or bluish skin, unusual tiredness, shortness of breath, or a fast, slow, or irregular heartbeat. While a severe allergic reaction to this medication is rare, it's important to get medical help if you notice symptoms such as rash, itching, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. Remember that this is not an exhaustive list of potential side effects. If you notice any other effects, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist for guidance. If you're in the U.S., you can report any side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before using lidocaine, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies, especially to anesthetics or PABA, or if you have any other allergies. This is because the product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems. It's also important to discuss your medical history with your doctor or pharmacist, especially if you have cuts, sores, or bleeding in the area where the drug will be applied, heart problems, kidney disease, liver disease, or a certain blood disorder called methemoglobinemia. Using too much of this drug or being very sensitive to its effects can make you dizzy, drowsy, or cause vision problems. It's important to be cautious when using alcohol or marijuana, as they can increase these effects. Avoid driving, using machinery, or doing anything that requires alertness or clear vision until you can do it safely. If you are planning to have surgery, Make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. It's also important to note that children may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially drowsiness and dizziness. 
If you are pregnant, use this medication only when clearly needed and discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. And if you are breastfeeding, consult your doctor before using this medication. When using lidocaine HCL jelly, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how the medication works or increase your risk of serious side effects. Always keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's crucial not to start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. If you are using other lidocaine products simultaneously with this medication, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist, as the risk of serious side effects may increase. If someone has taken too much lidocaine HCL jelly and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or having difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call 911 or the local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include changes in vision or hearing, severe dizziness or drowsiness, fainting, loss of consciousness, shaking, seizures, slow or irregular heartbeat, and slow or shallow breathing. Remember, do not share this medication with anyone else. This medication has been prescribed specifically for your current condition. Do not save it for later use for another condition unless your doctor tells you to do so. In that case, you may need a different medication. Lidocaine HCL jelly is a local anesthetic used to numb the skin or mucous membranes in the mouth, throat, or genital area. It is also used to treat arrhythmias, abnormal heart rhythms. It works by blocking nerve signals in your body. This medication is generally used before medical procedures or surgery to lessen discomfort. The dosage and application of lidocaine HCL jelly will vary depending on the specific medical condition and response to treatment. It is important to follow the instructions provided by your doctor or pharmacist. It is typically applied to the affected area as directed by a healthcare professional. The best time to use lidocaine HCL jelly is before medical procedures or surgery when discomfort is anticipated. Always consult with a healthcare professional for personalized guidance. Make sure to store lidocaine HCL jelly in a tightly closed container at room temperature, away from light and moisture. It's important not to store it in the bathroom, and definitely do not freeze it. Keep all medications away from children and pets. When it's expired or no longer needed, make sure to properly discard the product. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this. And remember, do not flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.